Governor Hochul has declared a state of emergency today to ramp up polio immunizations. Yeah, this after wastewater samples detected traces of the virus in Nassau County. Christine Russo has more on the response. The first positive sample of active polio virus detected in Nassau County wastewater. I want to stress this has nothing to do with the drinking water. County Executive Bruce Blakeman saying Friday that while there are no active cases of polio in the county, they are closely monitoring the situation. First of all, nobody should panic. There is no crisis right now. They say the positive wastewater was found in samples from Manhasset, Port Washington, Roslyn, Hempstead, and Glenwood Landing. It could have been just a person that got vaccinated and is shedding in their stool. But Dr. Mark Lashley with the Allied Physicians Group says it's more likely the sample came from an unvaccinated person infected with polio, since the virus sheds much easier when a person is not vaccinated. He says even though the polio vaccine is highly effective, there's still a chance of infection. Polio could be transmitting around, walking around, masquerading like a flu until that we get that first paralyzed person. And by then, many people have been infected. County Executive Blakeman says he's urging parents to talk with their physicians about the vaccine. Consult with your pediatric physician and make a determination as to whether or not it's appropriate for your child to be vaccinated. Dr. Lashley, though, says since polio isn't treatable, vaccination is our only tool to squash this virus. I'm worried because since COVID vaccine came out, childhood vaccine rates have gone down for many reasons partly because of the pandemic, but also parents have begun to uh, begun to question other vaccines. The CDC and the State Department of Health says there's sufficient polio virus vaccines in stockpile should Nassau County or the rest of New York State need it. We're in Uniondale. Christine Russo, Fox 5 News. The COVID